Hello folks, my name is Mike Cannon, part of the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Group, and today we're going to do a short video on how to upgrade the firmware on a single Avaya B179 conference phone. Upgrading a single B179 conference phone. There's a couple assumptions we're going to make. First is that you have the software on your laptop. If you download it in a zipped format that you extracted the base software out of that zip file and put it on your laptop that you have knowledge of the B179's IP address. There are also two other upgrade options. There is the SD card option and there's a device management option. Today we are going to focus on how to upgrade a single B179 using your laptop. As I mentioned, you have to know the B179's IP address. The call out below is how you can walk a customer through getting that IP address and we're going to HTTP to the B179's IP address. It will bring us to the login page. The profile will be default. We're going to open up the drop down and scroll to admin. We're going to put in the admin pin and select login. At that point it brings us to the status device page which tells us the firmware level. 2.2.17 we have to have greater than 1.7 on our laptop which we do. Our next step is to go to settings and then to select provisioning. From there we scroll to browse and we browse to the folder on our laptop that has the software. So dot 56. We highlight it and we select open. Next step is to select upgrade and we get a note. The upgrade process will take approximately three minutes. Please do not interrupt the process. Select OK. And then the upgrade in the Avaya B179 please wait takes place. On the phone you'll start seeing the upgrade process in the display. After a couple of minutes you'll hear the phone initial beep and then roughly 30 seconds later you'll hear the Avaya signature tone. Then you'll see the phone come up in the display and you'll see it registering and then you'll actually see it register to the SIP call server. At that point the phone will attempt to sync with the web pages. If successful it'll log you back in. If after 30 seconds you're still at this screen and it's not successful you need to open another browser. The phone and software didn't sync so we open a new browser. We HTTP to the IP address of the B179. We scroll down to profile and we change that to admin. We put in the admin pin. We select log in. And at this point, you can see that we are successful in updating the phone from dot .17 to dot .56 firmware load. So we have successfully updated a single B179 conference phone. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentoratavaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Again, thanks for choosing Avaya.